This is my Aunt Mary, and um, we've been looking after my aunt in Middle Church Home for about two years now. Mary has dementia. Several years ago, she fell in her home, ended up in the hospital, and was prescribed antipsychotic medication. It was very traumatic for her. It wasn't an environment that she was used to being in, and we saw some behaviors there that we weren't used to seeing in Mary. She came over to Middle Church, and we realized then that she was on this drug. It pretty much knocked her out for the whole day. It was very upsetting to see her. Most antipsychotics were never designed for people with dementia, but like most long-term care homes, Middle Church used them to control behavior issues among residents. Some of the families were coming to us and they were, they were really angry because their families, uh, they used the words they were being doped. When you find that you're not helping, you're hindering and you're actually causing someone else a lot of anguish, it's, it's very upsetting. Data gathered through quality indicators developed by InterI, an international research collaborative, and supported for use in Canada by Kaihai, showed rates of use of 40% at Middle Church, higher than the regional and national average. Antipsychotic medications were a first-line uh, treatment. Our goal was really to bring in an intervention so that medications would be the last resort. So we chose a dementia care model called PIECES. Uh, the acronym stands for Physical, Intellectual, Emotional, Capabilities, Environment and Social. And healthcare providers are taught to assess residents in those dimensions, in those spheres, and to be creative in their solutions to behaviors. Everyone from nurses to dietary and recreation staff were trained. Team huddles were also organized to share ideas about how to address behavior concerns. We're doing a more thorough assessment of that resident's uh, needs, so whether that person has got a pain issue or an infection, uh, something as simple as constipation, they've got a voice in, in that resident's care. So it's quite empowering for the staff. Rates of antipsychotic drug use dropped more than 25% in six months among residents who were on them when the project began. Along the way, data was posted for staff to see the results of their efforts. Now, they seek it out. What we're starting to see at the Middle Church Home of Winnipeg is a culture shift. The drugs have gone from something that was used first to something that is used last. Despite staff concerns behaviors would increase, the data showed that was not the case. We could look at multiple indicators at the same time to prove the effectiveness of, of our intervention. We really saw an increase in the quality of resident care and a decrease in cost at the same time. And that's a very exciting thing. So this has really been a learning lesson for us about how we can use the data to uh, design an intervention, engage the staff, and improve the quality of care for residents. Since this program started, I've not had one complaint. So it's, it's working and I want it to continue working. I would love to have the old Mary back. That's not going to happen. But she's a much happier person. She's not in a corner anymore sleeping and missing life. Data was the centerpiece. Without the data, this project uh, could not have happened. It really is data making a difference.